welcome, 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 what's up, and welcome back to the channel for yet another FC Finch Eagle Moss review, and today on the table, taking a step back to the past with the official Star Trek Starships Collection Enterprise NCC-1701C, the Ambassador Class Rick Sternbach Design Enterprise from uh, yesterday's Enterprise, that episode in Season 3 of The Next Generation. Oh, yes, we did previously take a look at the XL version of this ship, and now we are going to take a look at the place where it all began now unfortunately i did buy this second hand well not unfortunately i did help out another collector trying to offload his collection this was bought many years ago and uh he didn't have the magazines to the ships and you know how i feel about magazines so i didn't this channel was not even in my mind at the time i just went without the magazine so we're just gonna go straight into the ship now uh, i'll take the ship off its stand and of course you'll see the stand instructions real quick obviously it's we, this is nothing we've done not done before so we just plug the stand and it is quite firm and then all you're gonna do is you're gonna bring the ship in just bring it down then it will clamp onto the cells and it will look like it's going off into outer space but let's get in and take a look at the Enterprise C. And uh, overall, this is a fairly decent model, except for one glaring is issue that we're going to get to. Um, and you can see it's done with very nice window detailing all over. Got that USS Enterprise NCC-1701C. Nice front and center. You have the escape pods all around, uh, very nicely extruded. Uh, and they kind of like a beige, grayish color. They look really good. And you got the combination of the eggshell blues. You got the lighter gray rays all around very lighter tone colors really uh uh really nice colors on this model and of course got the little yellow for the rcs thrusters as we do typically see nice window detailing all around uh doesn't look like any misalignments because there's really nothing to align to and you do the phaser strips done in kind of like a dark gray on the uh, forward sections of the saucer uh coming to the bottom of course you see more of that color palette you got a little bit of a deeper blue all around here and then you got escape pods pattern all around there done in that same beige color ncc 1701 so you got your phaser strips you got your little sensor dome right down here it is done very nice in a mix of eggshell blue and gray looks really good and you got your uh signaling lights all aligned along the saucer section of the ship uh again they're done in a very nice red paint uh coming down to the deflector and you do got that blue clear plastic it does look very good very premium as well and you've got the uh kind of the excelsior-ish uh style neck there going on you do have yeah you can see the misalignments in the windows i mean it doesn't bug me you know i'm staring at the ship from 22 actually actually this ship isn't even displayed on my shelf but uh they are present if you care about that that sort of thing and then of course you have uh uss uh, enterprise united federation of planets right there the pendant on the side look at that you got more window detailing here on the bridge i think you got again you got that rib detailing done in a more eggshell blue uh the warp nacelles again a red clear plastic for the bassard collectors then you got a very light blue for the warp coils looks really really good then you of course got nice extruded detailing along the warp coils actually Actually, the nacelles are pretty nicely done. You got some uh, kind of yet orangish gold here, and then you got some ribs all along the warp coil area, coil area with the uh, pendant done very nicely. Got NCC 1701C United Federation of Planets, and you got NCC 1701C. You'll never forget what the designation of the ship is. You do have a phaser strip right here along the nacelle pylon, looking really good. And uh, yeah, this is the uh, glaring issue. There's a uh, no impulse engines uh, on this model. At all uh, that was remedied for the XL, as you can see in that review. Uh, but of course, this model did not have it. This was the original model, so that is a big uh, bummer. And back, uh, in fact, the back of the ship uh, right here is pretty much void of detail. You do got some gray uh, stripping right here, and is like, extruded. You do have the shuttle bay done in a ribbed. Uh, kind of decoration and then of course again the pennant going along the bottom uh but over, otherwise very plain under here and that may be due to the studio model eagle moss based a lot of their uh a lot of their models off the studio model uh you do have some interesting extruded detail here on the bottom of the cell pylons and of course you have some detailing on the cells again these the cells are really beautifully detailed they look really really good uh uh de definitely can't argue with that you even got some indents right here that look really good it got some detailing in there so those look really 
really beautiful. Again, more light detailing along the back of the yellows and the reds. Uh, so again, it's kind of a mixed bag in terms of detailing and the uh, lack of impulse engines are a huge detractor, at least for me they are, uh, but really a mixed bag overall. As far as the weight goes, I mean, it's not too bad for a standard model. It's kind of as expected, uh, so I wouldn't fault it there. And for a quick comparison, we are going to get it with its uh, XL counterpart, the XL NCC 1701C. And the, uh, as we've seen in the XL video, this is just a huge model, and so many of the detailing issues uh, you can see uh, are definitely corrected. In fact, the Enterprise C, even if you don't like the Enterprise C, and I'm not a crazy fan of uh, this design, uh, it, this model is still worth getting, not just for the size increase, but for the detailing increase alone. You can see right there. And of course, you can see from the backside that the uh, XL did correct the impulse engines as well. So you can check that and get that going on. They also do we have a uh, more uh, clear, more dark blue clear plastic that I think looks a bit better. And uh, you can see that the nacelle pylons are angled back just a bit on the XL model. They are more straight on the uh, standard model. Uh, but nevertheless, um, there you go for a quick comparison. We'll just get them from the front before we move on. And uh, there we go for that. So let's summarize on the Eagle Mosh official Star Trek Starships collection, USS Enterprise NCC-1701C. And man, all of these Enterprises are a mouthful. Uh, but overall, this is a model that I feel very middle of the road about. Uh, in many ways, it is very good for a standard model. It has very nice paintwork, uh, very nice detailing, barring the window misalignments, of course. Um, I do love the use of clear plastic and the weight is overall solid for a model of this size. However, uh, the biggest glaring defect for me is the lack of impulse engines. And yes, you can argue that you won't be seeing it while it's displayed on your shelf. I mean, depending on how you display it. Uh, but in my mind, uh, the fact that I know they aren't there, and that is something that forever stands out on this model for me. However, again, if you can stomach the XL model, I do highly recommend that. It does, of course, have the impulse engines, and just for the size and the weight alone, I think is definitely leaps and bounds over this standard model. Uh, and you can check out Master Up because if you are in search of either or, or both, in fact, I do believe they are both relatively available. I will put a link in the description down below two master replicas i'll put them directly to this model and the xl if i do find those available on the site so you can check that out and get one for yourself and that being said that is going to conclude this review so of course if you found this review fun and informative let me know by hitting that like button down below that helps me out and i do greatly appreciate it also if you are not yet a member of my federation consider joining and subscribing to my channel i do do eagle moss ships quite regularly at least once a week i do have this my largest playlist on the channel so you could check that out. I'll put a link in the description down below. And that's going to be about it. I have been FC Finch. Thank you so much for watching. Live long and prosper.